So in this video, I am going to explain how to find the radius of curvature in case of the polar form. So for that, let us draw the initial line. Initial line and then a curve. And for the curve, draw a tangent. So draw the tangent and a radius vector and a radius vector from pole. So where the tangent is intersecting the curve. So now, so the equation of the curve is given by r is equals to f of theta. See the uh, this angle is theta, and this is the radius vector, and this is tangent. So the angle between them is phi, and this is angle made with the initial line is psi. You take pole as O, and this is the point P of r comma theta. So and this is n. So this is the initial line. So uh, write it like this. The tangent to the curve the tangent to the curve r is equals to f of theta at p of r comma theta makes an angle makes an angle angle psi with the initial line with the initial line so and what is this phi phi is the angle between radius vector and tangent. Now from the triangle, from the triangle OPN, OPN. So this angle will be equal to sum of these two. That is psi is equals to theta plus phi. So let us differentiate this with respect to S differentiate with respect to s yes. so what happens it will be d psi by ds is equals to d theta by ds plus t phi by ds in the next step you write d theta by ds plus here this is plus so d phi by d theta into d theta by ds. So now what is common on the right hand side? d theta by ds. This is common between these two terms. So what I will do, I will take d psi by ds is equals to d theta by ds into 1 plus d phi by d theta. So uh, we have to take this, uh, but uh, what is d psi by ds means? It is one by rho. So therefore the above equation becomes, so one by rho equals d theta by ds, one plus d phi by d theta. So what I will do, I will take the reciprocal of this equation. Means interchange numerator and denominator. 1 by rho becomes rho. This becomes 1 divided by d theta by ds into 1 plus d phi by d theta. Or you can write this as rho equals I will write this as, this will move to numerator. So you can write this as 
ds by d theta divided by 1 plus d phi by d theta. So take this as equation 1. So now the numerator is uh, you can easily uh, that is you should remember this one ds by d theta is square root of r square plus r1 square where r1 is dr by d theta derivative of r with respect to theta and we know this expression that is tan phi is equals to r into d theta by dr this is the angle between radius vector and tangent that is the expression so what i will do i will change this to r into r divided by dr by d theta or you can write this as tan phi is equals to r by r1 so now i will differentiate this with respect to yeah, theta differentiate with respect to theta that is d by d theta of tan phi that is equals to d by d theta of r by r1 so tan we are differentiating phi with respect to theta so tan derivative becomes secant square phi into d phi by d theta the right hand side i will apply the u by v rule denominator is r1 into a derivative of r becomes r1 minus r into derivative of r1 is r2 divided by denominator square that is r1 square now secant again using the trigonometric identity secant square phi is 1 plus tan squared phi into d phi by d theta equals this is r1 square minus r into r2 divided by r1 square already we have used this now what is tan phi tan phi is nothing but r by r1 i will use that so but tan phi is equals to r by r1 so this becomes what 1 plus r square by r1 square into d phi by d theta equals r1 square minus r into r2 whole divided by r1 square. So let us simplify the left hand side. It becomes r1 square uh, plus r square divided by r1 square into d phi by d theta equals r1 square minus r into r2 divided by r1 square. Now the denominator on the both sides as r1 square gets cancelled. So what you will get? So r square plus r1 square into d phi by d theta equals r1 square minus r into r2 r so what will be d phi by d theta that is r1 square minus r into r2 divided by this one is r square plus r1 square but what we require we want 1 plus d phi by d theta this is what we require 1 plus d phi by d theta so therefore i will add one to both side add one to both sides so left hand side becomes one plus d phi by d theta that is equals to one plus r1 square minus r into r2 divided by so r square plus r1 square you take the denominator as r square plus r1 square here if you multiply here r square plus r1 square this term will be multiplied to 1 plus r1 square minus r into r so r into r2 so therefore 1 plus d phi by d theta so will be 
r square plus 2 r1 square minus r into r2 divided by r square plus r1 square. Now let us substitute this one, 1 plus d5 by d theta and this one ds by d theta in this equation. So now the equation 1 becomes, what is the equation 1? So equation 1 is nothing but rho equals ds by d theta divided by 1 plus d5 by d theta. So ds by d theta is square root of r square plus r1 square divided by this one. That is r square plus 2 r1 square minus r into r2 whole divided by r square plus r1 square. So this will move to the numerator. So therefore r square plus r1 square and this square root can be written as r square plus r1 square to the power of 1 by 2. The denominator, this is the denominator, that is r square plus 2r1 square minus r into r2. Numerator, this is power 1 and 1 by 2. So that is 1 plus 1 by 2 will be 3 by 2. So therefore, radius of curvature in polar form will be r square plus r1 square to the power of 3 by 2, 3 by 2 divided by r square plus 2 r1 square minus r into r2. So therefore, uh, this is the formula to find the radius of curvature in polar form. So what is this r1 means? It is derivative of r with respect to theta and uh, r2 will be, it is a second order derivative of r with respect to theta. So finding the radius of curvature means, uh, uh, derivation means this is the answer.